Good afternoon. It's already afternoon and very happy new year to every one of you. And thank you very much for joining us for this ceremony. I, in my capacity as the permanent representative of Kazakhstan, the country which initiated this, uh, the flag installation ceremony, I am honored to conduct this solemn event in close cooperation with the permanent representative of France, Ambassador, my friend, uh, Ambassador Nicolas de Rivière, uh, and who is the president of the Security Council for this month of January. Today, on the first business day of the new year, I welcome Algeria, Guyana, Republic of Korea, Sierra Leone, and Slovenia, our distinguished newly elected members of the Security Council for 2024-2025, as they take their seats on this premier body of the United Nations. We firmly believe that these five incoming members will bring much depth and focus on the issues of peace and security. Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, this new year is a year of hope for all of us and for our organization. Global peace, security, and further sustainable development in 2024 will largely depend on the decisions of the UN and the Security Council with its permanent and non-permanent members. Drawing on the hard but valuable lessons learned last year, we must analyze and use in our future work the best examples of collaboration, compromises, and dedication to causes for the further promoting and ensuring global peace, security, and sustainable development. And dear colleagues, newly elected members of the Security Council, on behalf of Kazakhstan, which has had the distinct honor of serving on the Security Council, I extend my heartfelt <laughs> congratulations to, e to each of you, and I sincerely wish you every success in realizing your priorities in the Council for the benefit of the all humankind. I have no doubt that you will make a sterling contributions to its work during the two critical years, crucial and critical years in the modern history. While you accomplish your noble mission, I wish you all to stay safe, focused, and stay together. And, and I thank you. Uh, and dear colleagues, uh, without further ado, I would like to give the floor to His Excellency, uh, Permanent Representative of, of France and President of the Security Council for the month of January, Ambassador His Excellency Nicolas de Riviere. Ambassador, you have the floor. Dear friends, it's a pleasure to stand here with you as France starts its presidency of the Security Council for January 2024. On behalf of all Security Council members, I would like to extend a warm welcome to the five new non-permanent members joining us today. Algeria, Guyana, the Republic of Korea, Slovenia and Sierra Leone. Sitting in the Security Council is both an honor and a responsibility, especially at a time when regional crises are multiplying. I'm thinking in particular of the Middle East, Eastern Europe, and Africa. We are looking forward to working with you for the two coming years to implement the mandate of, the, of this Council, preserving international peace and security and to defend a multilateralism respectful of the values of the UN Charter. Bienvenue à tous et excellente année 2024. Merci beaucoup, Ambassador de Rivière. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, now let me invite permanent representatives of Algeria, Guyana, Republic of Korea, Sierra Leone, and representative of Slovenia also to give their remarks. Please, you have the floor. <coughs> Good morning, dear friend, and Happy New Year. Today, I have the honor and the privilege to raise the flag of Algeria as an elected member of the Security Council. This act marks the start of our mandate as the representative of both the African and the Arab regions. In the current difficult context where collective security, diplomacy, and 
multilateralism are tested. The Algerian delegation, under the guidance of the President of the Republic, Mr. Abdelmajid Taboun, will work with all members of the Security Council for upholding the purposes and the principle of the United Nations Charter and for the maintenance of international peace and security. In this endeavor, Algeria will be the voice of the oppressed people and those still under foreign occupation to fulfill their right to self-determination. Naturally, the plight of the Palestinian people will be high in our agenda. We will not give up our demand for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and for a just and lasting solution to the Palestinian question based on the fulfillment of the legitimate right of the Palestinian people to establish its independent state with Al-Quds as its capital. Thank you. Allow me now to say a few words in Arabic. باعتبارها ممثل الدول العربية في مجلس الأمن سوف تبدو للجزائر وذلك تحت توجيهات رئيس الجمهورية السيد عبد المجيد تبون كل ما يفي وسعها للدفاع عن القضايا العادلة في العالم وبطبيعة الحال سيكون الدفاع عن القضية الفلسطينية على رأس أولويات الجزائر خلال عهدتها بمجلس الأمن وهدفنا في الظرف الحالي وضع حد للإبادة الجماعية التي يتعرض لها الشعب الفلسطيني في قطاع غزة خاصة الأطفال والنساء إنه من غير المنطقي وغير المقبول لا سياسيا ولا إنسانيا ولا أخلاقيا أن يبقى مجلس الأمن باعتباره الهيئة المسؤولة أساسا عن حفظ السلم والأمن الدوليين مكتوف الأيدي وعاجزا تماما عن إيقاف هذه الجرائم الباشعة في حق الشعب الفلسطيني الأبي ومن هذا المنبر يجدد الوفد الجزائري المطالبة المطالبة بإلحاح شديد بوقف فوري ودائم لإطلاق النار كما يطالب بالانخراط في مسار تسوية عادلة ونهائية للقضية الفلسطينية تقوم على تمكين الشعب الفلسطيني من حقوقه مشروعة وغير القابلة للتصرف في إقامة دولته المستقلة وعاصمتها القدس الشريف وشكرا Good morning, friends, and a happy new year to you all. I am pleased to participate in this solemn event, marking the commencement of Guyana's tenure as an elected member of the United Nations Security Council. I express my delegation's deep appreciation to Ambassador Akan Rahmetullin and the staff of the Permanent Mission of Kazakhstan for initiating the flag installation ceremony and for today's event. I also wish to congratulate the esteemed governments of Algeria, Republic of Korea, Sierra Leone, and Slovenia, whose tenures on the Council have also begun, and thank the outgoing five members for their sterling efforts over the last two years. Allow me to reiterate Guyana's gratitude to the UN General Assembly for making Guyana's membership of the Council possible and to express 
our appreciation to the entire UN community for their steady support, encouragement, and advice. The task of maintaining international peace and security is growing increasingly complex with multidimensional challenges. The Council is therefore compelled to be proactive in addressing potential sources of conflict and comprehensive in its response to existing conflict situations. Guyana will be constructive in our approach to the work of the Council, fully committed to partnerships for the peace and prosperity of the world's people. We will seek a people-centered approach, including the involvement and, of women and youth in the search for solutions, ever mindful that conflict is a driver of poverty and underdevelopment, and therefore inimical to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. In closing, Guyana has never wavered in its commitment to multilateralism and to promoting the principles and purposes of the United Nations. Guyana's pledge, therefore, led by His Excellency President Mohamed Irfan Ali, is to be guided by a firm adherence to the rule of international law, including the Charter of the United Nations, and to continue to work collaboratively to strengthen universal peace and security for a better world. I thank you. Uh, good afternoon and Happy New Year to you all. It is my profound honor to stand before you today representing the Republic of Korea as we embark on our term as a member of the Security Council. I express sincere gratitude to Kazakhstan for organizing this event and my special thanks go to France, the Council's President this month for extending a gracious welcome to the new members. In recognizing the serious challenges that confront our world today, we acknowledge that expectations for the, for the role of the Security Council have never been greater. Indeed, the complexity of today's interconnected global issues necessitates the collective and the resolute response of the Security Council. Despite some internal divisions within the Council, we hold steadfast to the belief that the Security Council remains an indispensable entity in addressing various global challenges and the primary body re responsible for the maintenance of international peace and security. The Republic of Korea's journey over the last 70 plus years from war and devastation to reconstruction and economic development and political democratization stands as a vivid testament to the transformative power of international cooperation and multilateralism based on the UN Charter. Faced with escalating security threats surrounding the Korean Peninsula, the Republic of Korea, grounded in our own history, approaches the Security Council tenure with heightened seriousness. In solidarity with those facing similar challenges across the world, we aspire to create more success stories that resonate globally. And we are confident that it is possible to do so by working together genuinely for our shared objectives of promoting international peace and prosperity, as well as upholding human rights and the rule of law. We stand ready to fulfill our duties in close cooperation with the fellow council members, other UN member states, and, and the Secretariat. Lastly, I'd like to extend my sincere appreciation to the departing members, Albania, Brazil, Gabon, Ghana, and the United Arab Emirates for their contributions for the last two years. As a new Security Council member, we solemnly pledge an unwavering commitment to contribute to enhancing the effectiveness of the Council, tackling its inherent limitations, learning from its failures, and building upon its successful initiatives. Thank you.
Good afternoon. President of the Security Council, Excellencies, dear colleagues, Happy New Year. Often in the darkest moments, humanity like the sun rises to the occasion to shine a light and bring hope to those in despair and in need of our solidarity and action. After a year of unacceptable human tragedy, violence, and turbulence, the enduring human spirit of hope must lead us collectively to the coveted shorelines of peace, stability, and prosperity. Sierra Leone thanks Kazakhstan and its permanent mission for initiating this solemn flag installation ceremony and for its continuation. After 53 years since our first and only previous mandate, Sierra Leone returns to the United Nations Security Council as an elected member with a unique experience. An experience demonstrative of a successful partnership between the member state and the United Nations, in particular, the United Nations Security Council, in the discharge of its important mandate to resolve conflict, make peace, keep peace, consolidate peace and security by addressing persistent and new threats to international peace and security. In the next two years, we hope to bring our experience to bear in the work of the Council, recognizing the importance of its unity and effectiveness. This is why we congratulate and commend the outgoing five elected members of the Council, Albania, Brazil, Gabon, Ghana, and the United Arab Emirates, for their valuable contributions to the work of the Council and instilling the enviable spirit of the Council's unity through the leadership of the elected 10. We are most profoundly grateful to the membership of the United Nations for the trust in electing Sierra Leone, and we will not take this trust for granted. We will make it count. It is therefore our distinguished honor to be joining the Council together with Algeria, Guyana, Republic of Korea, and Slovenia. In the collective security scheme agreed to United Nations Charter, the collective trust by the membership on the Security Council must also count. It should count in working together to ensure an effective council. We have to make it count to validate the legitimacy of the council and its accountability. Ultimately, the council must reflect and meet the demands of our modern contemporary times. On our part, our return to the Security Council is a concrete manifestation of the leadership of His Excellency, President Julius Madabio, whose new direction of foreign policy embodies our national ambition to continue to strengthen multilateralism and enhance international cooperation to maintain global peace and security, promote and protect fundamental human rights, and achieve sustainable development. With this in mind, Sierra Leone will pursue its priorities based on partnership and a representative approach to sustain global peace and security. We shall work within the formulation of the A3+, the E10, and with the P5 to make significantly, to most significantly make the Council take meaningful action and timelessly in maintaining international peace and security underlining the utility of regional arrangement and regional ownership. We do have a story to tell and an experience to share, but our tenure will be underlined by our values of unity, freedom, and justice. The plot is simple. Notwithstanding the challenges, the United Nations work. Its Security Council can deliver on its mandate with partnership, trust, and a sense of purpose it can count. I thank you. Um, <clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, happy new year, and let's make it a peaceful one. We are entering the Security Council today with a great sense of responsibility and determination. 
the work of Slovenia in the Council will be guided by the UN Charter, international law, and our foreign policy of peace. We pledge to act in goodwill and in transparency to all UN members. We trust in multilateral system with the UN at its core as the only way to finding solutions to the most difficult crisis on the agenda. While we understand that the Security Council reflects the situation or the state of affairs uh, in the international relations, at the same time, we believe that the Council, when reflecting and respecting members' positions, can be a genuinely a force that works toward peace and stability. Slovenia will be a responsible, credible, and responsive member of the Council. Our aim is to be a unifying force. We remain committed to building trust, the pledge that we made during our campaign. Ongoing conflicts in Gaza, in Sudan, in Ukraine, are some of the most visible examples of failures of prevention of conflicts or of conflict resolution. Therefore, apart from looking for end to these conflicts, during our term we would like to see greater emphasis on prevention of conflicts, as well as on protection of civilians once the conflicts emerge. We will be especially attentive to the situation of women and girls. The new sources of tensions and conflicts, such as climate security, water security, would also be in our focus. We want to thank all members of the Council, and in particular those who left, Albania, Brazil, Gabon, Ghana, and the United Arab Emirates, for their outstanding contributions. We want to thank them for their valuable advice and guidance. We are looking forward to working closely with other incoming members, the class of 2024-25, as well as with all elected and permanent members alike. And we thank them for their valuable support so far. In the puzzle that unites us all in search for peace, we see and we recognize the specific role of the UN Secretariat of the UN agencies, of the humanitarian workers, of the peacekeepers. We also are looking forward to fruitful cooperation with the UN Secretary General, especially when it comes to many challenging situations on the Council's agenda. Allow me to conclude with few words in Slovenian language. Krize, ki je posledi se nezmožnosti zaščititi civilno prebivalstvo, predvsem ženske in otroke v obraženih spopadih. V spopadih, ko trenutno potekajo v Gazi, v Sudanu ali v Ukrajini. In ki jih nismo znali ali nismo zmogli preprečiti in jih nekako zaenkrat ne znamo zaustaviti. Nas se prevzemamo veliko odgovornost, da kot ena od petnaestih držav člani z varnostnega sveta krepimo njegovo enotnost in skupaj iščimo rešitve za številne krize. Verjamem, da nas bo članstvo v varnostnem svetu navdalo samo zavestjo, tako kot nas je izvolitev v članstvo 6. juna prevelo s ponosom. Hvala lepa. Thank you. I think, again, uh, all the uh, colleagues for their very thoughtful remarks and uh, wish again every success in your very uh, responsible uh, two-year tenure in the Security Council. And dear colleagues, uh, let us uh, proceed further with the flag ceremony and I would like to declare now to the flag installation itself, please. Thank you very much.
ladies and gentlemen, the national flag of Algeria. The national flag of Guyana. <laughs> the national flag of the Republic of Korea. The national flag of Sierra Leone. The national flag of Slovenia. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed parent representative and representative, we would like to invite you for the group picture. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this uh, officially concludes the formal ceremony.